Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Wherever you are, remember, you have greatness inside of you. Welcome back to another Ab Daily News with the hockey coach, Guru Code Frenchy. Today, episode number 345. What do you mean, coach? Only one. Just want to say thank you, Jonathan Drouin. But before we start, guys, we invite you. Please don't forget to click on the like, subscribe to the Hockey Nation Live Show, and leave us a comment about this episode. And let's dive in talking about my first subject of the day. My subject of the day, guys, about it. Thank you, Jonathan Drouin. Why? Because he signed a new contract, guys, with the Colorado Avalanche for one year, a little bit over $800,000. I know some of you love Jonathan Drouin, and some of you, or many of you, do not like Jonathan Drouin with the Montreal Canadiens. Whatever which side you are, one thing he did, Jonathan Drouin played over six years with the Montreal Canadiens. Drouin, drafted by the Tampa Bay Lightning, third overall pick in 2013. If you remember, guys, his teammate and Nathan McKinnon was the number one for the Colorado Avalanche, following by the Florida Panthers, Alexander Barkov. Now, Drouin, guys, played only three years with the Tampa Bay Lightning with over 164 games, 29 goals, 66 assists, and a total of 95 points. After some kind of disagreement with Steve Eisenman, request to leave the Tampa Bay Lightning, and he got traded to the Montreal Canadiens and returned to Mikhail Sergachev. With the Montreal Canadiens, Jonathan Drouin played over six years with a total of 321 games, only 48 goals, but 138 assists for a total of 186 points with the Montreal Canadiens. Now, many fans for the Montreal Canadiens did not like the way he was not engaged every single game. Plus, not want to play in the traffic, to be in front of the net, or to try to recover the puck in the, in the corner, try to win the battle. It was not very physical, honestly, Jonathan Drouin. Whatever is six foot, 185 pounds. Then you have some kind of problems sometimes with the teammates, and sometimes with the coaches. How many times you see him some kind of argument with the Dominic Trump many times on the practice in the morning. And then, of course, his mental illness and during the time the Montreal Canadiens reached the final of the Sunny Cup again a Tampa Bay Lightning. Drouin completely missed the full playoff with the Montreal Canadiens. Obviously, I believe Jonathan Drouin never reached his full potential in NHL for many reasons. Sometimes those players play in Montreal under pressure. It's very difficult for them to perform. Obviously, for Jonathan Drouin, guys, he did not reach his full potential as a third overall pick in 2013, I believe, with the Montreal Canadiens and the Tampa Bay Lightning. Can this new scenery for him will go to helping him have a better career? The door is wide open for him. He's going to play with an amazing, great team. Take it, take advantage to have another opposite to play with Nathan McKinnon. Remember, guys, uh, Jonathan Drouin have a great hands. How many times he scored a goal for the Montreal Canadiens and pinned the shot? Secondly, what a great vision. He can pass the puck, guys, like anybody can do in any shell. This is really what is Jonathan Drouin as a talent, a skill. I just want to make a video about Jonathan Drouin. Thank you, Jonathan Drouin, with the Montreal Canadien. But before we leave, guys, I would like to hear from you. Tell me what you think about Jonathan Drouin. Whatever is great or bad, I would like to hear from you guys who have a great conversation about him, of course, uh, inside of this below this video until the next time my friend we want to invite you don't forget please to click on the like subscribe to the initial show and leave us a comment about this episode and of course you have greatness inside of you and we wish you an amazing great blessing day everybody 